This is model number DCF840, and the kit is actually C2. And so, yeah, this comes with two 1.5 amp hour batteries. Then, of course, you get the, the two batteries, which is why this kit is uh, costs only $100. These batteries, I don't want to say they're useful. They're batteries, they, don't, they work. Uh, but these are the regular black 1.5 amp hour batteries. Or is it 1.5? 1. Yep, 1. And uh, yeah, these are extremely weak compared to even just the t uh, two amp hour battery, uh, the, the regular uh, yellow battery. So like there is a difference. The model number for this is DCB201. It is a nice looking tool. Like this is supposed to be a lot more powerful than the DCF850, which I have right here. And so a uh, versus video coming up. Oh, this is 1700 in inch pounds. It is 3200 RPM and 4200 impacts per minute and a tool only, it is 1.95 pounds or 88, uh, 0.88 kilograms. Three year warranty. Remember this is the 1.5 amp hour battery. This battery is not useless, but it is garbage compared to even the four amp hour battery. So uh, I don't judge the tool just yet. Balancing act. I can tell, okay, I am gonna totally judge it. That is garbage. That is garbage. With that, like, but that's not the tool, that's the battery. All right, so let's actually switch a battery out. We'll go to the 1.7 uh, power stack battery. That's better. That's better. Let's see in how well reverse does. Oh, that's that's terrible yeah th see these 1.5 amp hour batteries are not useless but they are garbage they are and let's take out this one with the power stack much better yeah what a difference all right and let's do the same thing with uh the four amp hour and we're going to go against uh, the 4 amp hour with 21700 cells. Let's see what the difference is. Not too shabby. It's not too shabby. All right, now let's uh, do another one with the 4 amp hour battery. All these batteries are full, by the way, you guys. There we go. Oh, let's take out the four amp out the regular four amp hours. And let's take out the regular the 21700 cells. I could tell that the 21700 cells was a smidge faster just by a smidge. I do like it that it's quick insert collar uh collet. All right, same pre-drilled hole. Uh, we are gonna just make the hole wider. Uh, do the four amp hour on this side, then the, the 21700 cells on the other side. Time. All right, so the, let's do the four amp hour battery with 21700 cells. Time. Not too shabby. Let's see if this 1.5 can even take this out. No, it cannot. Trigger is still pulled. It is unable to do it without uh, assistance. So let's try it again. All right, so let's grab the power stack battery. No problem. Fantastic. DeWalt did good on these. These are small too. Like the, the power stack battery in size of the 1.5, major difference, major difference in size. And it's far more powerful. Actually, I've already done a lot of videos on this already. Uh, the, when it comes to power, these two are equal.
This is the 4 amp hour with 21700 cells and the 1.7 amp hour. But of course, this is 4 amp hour, so this one would last longer on a single charge. And this one would just drain very quickly from doing a hard task. All right, but let's uh, continue on to something bigger. Let's see what can do what. Time. Let's do a temperature reading on that really quick. I saw 91 somewhere. 93 degrees. 93 degrees. All right, let's actually do a... All right, let's take it out. That timber lock, I think, is now dead. All right, let's take this out. Oh, gotta take that out actually. And there you go. But as you can see, there is a big difference with the batteries you use. Let's do one more with the 1.5 and see if it could even drive it in a little bit. 122. 122 degrees, not sure if you can see that, but yeah, this tool got pretty hot for doing just a couple of tasks. That, that's, what, that's what I do on this channel. Oh, but not bad though, not bad. I've seen many videos on this across a, a, lot, of other, a lot of channels and I, I wanted this for myself. I, it, uh, like I said, it is variable trigger only. It is not, uh, the, the, it does not have a speed selector like the Atomic does. And the 887 right here, and just like the 887, and so this was the one that everyone would say the DeWalt impact driver would start on fire, which since they made newer versions of the impact driver for a while now, people don't really talk about the 887 anymore. This is old news. Not many people like this anymore. It works. It's powerful, but a lot of people want these two impact drivers actually. Like these are the main go-to impact drivers for DeWalt people. But also a versus video of these coming. So I hope you guys have a good day and I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next one.